Hello, what's up everybody? Welcome back to Skyrim. So, this is my... I started playing earlier today and I realized something brand new had happened. Um, ignore the con... Okay, um... I do have Nick on the mic with me, however his uh, audio is not included until he switches games. And let's see. You notice I have something. Can you brew me an ale? How about you go the fuck away, guard? Um, <coughs> you notice I have this weird arcane looking. Go away. Go away, people. Good lord. No peace and quiet. Let's try that again. As I was saying, you may notice some weird arcane ammo going on on my back. That is thanks to the Creation Club that I just noticed appeared out of freaking nowhere when I started today. Um. So there's a flame one. Let's see. There is a no new bone arrow. Flame arrow, ice arrow, and lightning arrow. So, I have all these up here. I also have soul render, just because I have it, and blood scythe, as well as this one, this brand new. I also have the normal mods of God Mode Rain and a new mod called the Nether, um, Nether Armor. Now there is a hard, a hard, he, not hard. <coughs> there is heavy armor version and there's light armor version. And y'all know me, I prefer um, light armor. So this is the Nether Scare, which is the light armor version of it. And you can see. And you can see that, eh, how it looks. I also have Inigo wearing the same light armor because I think that will work best with him. So yeah, we're going to do some quest lines that came from the Creation Club. Um, one says to travel to Solstheim so I don't actually have to activate the... <coughs> the Dova quests in order to go to Solstheim, so I can just go straight there if I want to. And also getting some spell tomes from a lost library, and the Ruin's Edge, which is a, no a bow that also came from the Creation Club. So, we're gonna get those first, and then we'll start on everything else. I probably will do Dawn Guard right after taking care of these three. Alright, let's get to it. Come on, Inigo. <coughs> do, 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 do. We need to go towards Winter Hold. So, side note, I took off the mod that allows you to have multiple mounts all in that one area of Whiterun. It was taking up so much... Oh, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Taking up a lot of the graphics of the game, basically. It was making the game run slow. So, <coughs> I decided to switch to a different mod. That will allow mounts, and this one will actually. This one actually allows you to conjure. Um. Let's see how these look. Huh? See? <coughs> Uh, 
How fast are you? Eh. Not very fast now, are you? Um. I need something. Whoa. Whoa, whoa. That's interesting. Okay. <coughs> My friend, Skyrim is a big and often confusing place. We are bound to lose each other from time to time. Never fear. That map you have is special. Let me show you. My brother <coughs> once found one just like it on the remains of some poor old adventurer in Citadel. It does not only mark locations, it can also show the position of items and people too. Watch this. Where are you, Inigo? There! See, I have placed myself on your map. If we find ourselves separated, all you need to do is look me up. Pretty fantastic, eh? No problem. I am always happy to help. Indigo is so thoughtful. Okay. I am here for you. And there if is a way else, to... What is on your mind? Um... What would you have me do? Yes. I don't want you to attack the tree. That is a tree cow? They're very exotic looking. But. What's next? So, we're gonna just do this. You guys are not very fast. But. Oh, hi, bear. I like the exotic mounts. We're gonna go this way. Hello. Oh. Bless you. Let's see. Oh, I know. I've already said that to chat. simply lay down and die. It would not please Malakath. My time has come. I am old. Too old to become chief. It would be wrong for me to take wives at this age. So I will die. Malakath has given me a vision of a glorious death. I am to wait here until it finds me. As you can see, it has not yet arrived. Indeed. One should find his death while he can still call himself a proper man. We orc men are not like these Nords and Imperials who carry on until they are gray and feeble and their hair falls out. To cling to something past its usefulness is unseemly. How much more so when that thing is you? Makes sense. Let's see now. Let's Perhaps. Are you sure give this about this? Give this guy a good death. We shall see. Already on him, my friend. Well, Inigo did that for you. <laughs> oh, I've met the old orc before. Plenty of times. Whoa. 
tree cow. You do not turn whatsoever. I'm gonna have to un uninstall this mod too. <coughs> I need a mod that makes horses faster! Because <coughs> my follower Indigo can actually. Hello, people. Um, can actually have his own horse. I did not know that. I looked it up because I wanted to know more about this quest line that I had part in. And, um,. Excuse me, damn. Um, once finding out, I can actually buy a second horse <coughs> and give it to Indigo, and he will name it, and he will ride it whenever I ride my horse. So I might just do that. I just hate how slow the horses are compared to all the other stuff that I can get. And there is no way, as far as I know, no way to get Indigo to ride a mod mount. Although it probably will free up some space and allow my game to run a lot faster than normal, give or take. Where am I going? I am not going in the right direction now, am I? I'm already this close, so I might as well go this way. <coughs> yada yada yada, go away, wolf. Blah blah. I like this exotic mount, though. I wish. Excuse me. As I'm saying. <laughs> Wish. Oh, that's right. I have to go sell sign while I'm here. Eh, fuck me. Okay. Get enough of you. And I'm traveling back to Winterhold. It's so annoying. Well, actually, let me see something. Glitch much? I can't move. <coughs> well, you're pretty fast. That's for damn sure. Okay. I'm riding a veil deer! Cool! Let's hope I don't kill it. Sarthal discovered. <coughs> Let's continue. Are you another old orc? 
If you are not here to grant me a good death, then you can That's leave. the second old orc in a row. Perhaps. Hmm. We shall see. Okay then. This deer is getting on my nerves. It's not moving when it needs to. Ah! Saber cat. Will you move? Thank you. Oh my god, his legs are crooked! Look at his back legs! <coughs> That's not right... Whoopsie, whoops. No one saw that. That did not happen. That does not exist, that does not happen. <coughs> I killed my mount. Number one cause of death in these games. You jump, you make a jump that's higher than you expect it to be. <laughs> <coughs> that did not happen, people. <laughs> that too. Come on, dear. I... I did that on the throat of the world, and I did a whirlwind sprint when I tried to do a dragon wrench out. Yep, that's exactly what happened. <laughs> By the way, is your audio included yet? Because, probably should be, because now they're not going to get the whole story on what the hell we were just talking about. Alright, here we go. <laughs> Yay! What, did something come across your screen? I'm now actually able... You're seeing me? No, I'm just saying yay because I can say yay. Oh. In this cave I go. There we go. Now I got my chat thing opened. My sneaky sneak. Be so sneaky. <clears throat> Aha! Weapons? It would help if I had a bow. Where's my bow? Thank you. And give me... A fire arrow. <laughs> I like the new arcane, um, uh, arcane armory aspect. Hmm. Because now I have enchanted flaming arrows, lightning arrows. Frost arrows and a new, and they added a new dragon bone arrow thing. I don't know if it's anything special. And the fire arrows explode. That's new. <coughs> Give me my fire arrow back, please. Thank you. Going down. Whoa! Everyone say, Whoa! <coughs> <laughs> I 
<laughs> she did a flip. <laughs> Ooh, that killed them both. Cool. Wait, did I miss something? Nope. Okay. Da -da 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 -da. Da -da 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 -da. Bye bye. Give me back my arrow. Nina, are you in the chat there? If so, hi! Is I ever one dead? Necromage? Me? Where's the other body? There you are. Ah, okay. Ancient tomb chest. Ooh. Give me all that. <coughs> and that chest was also a add-on from the Creation Labs. So that's the arcane... I don't want to say arcane mashup, it's... Something along those lines. I digress. Oops. So I already know these, so that means I can just Put them away for later. It looks so damn cool, too. Look at that. Look at these books. Ah, a mutton. The symbol on itself looks like it's 3D. It's so cool. Anyway. Uh, how the hell am I getting out of here? Which? Now that I think about it. Indigo! Indigo. You're still outside. Oh shit. That scared me. Give me that. Oh, there's one other one. I made you explode. <laughs> That's funny. <coughs> eh. Give me that. Not like you're needed. Stop! It's a skull. Bye. 
Ugh, Meredith's beacon. Are you kidding me? There is no escaping that damn thing. A train. new hand touches the beacon. Don't pick the damn thing up. And then I have to come all the way back here if I want it. A foul darkness has seeped into my temple. Oh, shut up, Owen. that you will destroy. Return my beacon to Mount Kilcreek. I will make you the instrument of my cleansing light. Yeah, I think I'll pass right now. Inigo! Stop! Where are you going? Come here. Really? You're late for the update. Wait, what's over here? Eh, just bones. Now we're out. That is annoying. Okay. Not what I wanted to do. Summons a bear for six. Wow. Okay. Not what I meant to do. The fuck? That's dismissed summons. Alien. I don't know. Uh -oh. Excuse me. Too lazy to walk, <laughs> eh? Again. Well, you found. Don't mind if you do. What's your price? Sold. She's all yours. <sighs> if I had one, you really? Know, they're all spoken for. <coughs> Make a quick trip to White Run. Hold that thought. Just so I can get Inigo his own heart. The Ebony Warrior is in White Run. Nope. <laughs> Whole lot of fucking nope. That's just because you know he'll slaughter you even with God Mode on. Yep. And I have to cheat further by using the cheat spell Silent Kill on him. Just to get him to go away. 
<laughs> I don't want to deal with that right now. Like you suppose so. Got one of you've got a deal. It's the one with the sap. Here, oh. I was wondering, can you whistle? Well, it could be a good way for us to quickly communicate. Look, I found this book. It made interesting reading. Maybe you should give it a look over. Anyway, what did you want to talk about? I am all ears. Let us strategize. I am being aggressive. And in battle, I am fighting how I choose. I am versatile. Okay. I will endeavor to lend support from a distance. Rawr. Rawr. <laughs> at an orphanage, and that is where we spent most of our childhood. Alright, let's see. How will this work? What is on your mind? <coughs> Ask away. Just beautiful black steed with a spring in her step and a twinkle in her eye. What a gift! I'm a you. Yay, Indigo has his own horse now. You have my full attention. I'm probably not even saying his name right. My brother and I were adopted by a couple of retired assassins. I guess the oh, open is a family background check. Hmm? Mine was perhaps a little more unconventional than most, but I suppose all childhoods are interesting to some degree. My parents provided Probably should have waited to do that. What'd you do? Sessions, we were a normal family. Then increased um increased the skill I probably shouldn't have yet. What skill? Sneak. <laughs> but I did the six times back backstabs damage and now it's <laughs> killing him in like three hits. Oh wow. Come on, Indigo. Yay! Okay, this is gonna be interesting because I actually have a follower that will have his own horse. I'd be happy to give up my mouse in order to have my followers ride steeds. So they're not running behind me. I'm prideful, but not that prideful. 
Now, if only I can get Serana to ride a horse. <laughs> <coughs> that is the one thing that's going to drive me nuts. Alright, so... That is so cool! He's riding a horse! Horses are still slow as hell, but I'll deal with it. I need to make the horses essential. That's probably what I should do right now. Okay. Magic. Alt. Yeah. <laughs> and there's a freaking bear nearby. Of course. I never remember the tab. This shit's always on. Back. Where are you? I can't even see that much. Quiet, everybody. the essential and non-essential shit. What the fuck? No, I don't want any of that. I know what I'm looking for, I'm just not finding it. Maybe I'm in the wrong category. Um, restoration. No, what was that in there? It was an illusion. Yep, it was an illusion. <sighs> I can't make them essential. That sucks ass. What kind of magic do I have? Choking grass. Elemental blast. First player. I'm gonna be trying that one right now. Ooh. Ooh. This is my horse. This is my horse. My horse is amazing. <laughs> <coughs> right? Nala, behave over there. My kitty's being adventurous. And again, when is she not? Meow, you too. Was that a bear on your screen? And those are gargoyles. Those are gargoyles. They're gargoyles. Holy frick. Get out of here, That's interesting. Was interesting. Where's the other one? There were two of them. There it is.
Nyla, behave. Nyla. Knock it off. Damn cat. It seems like we're running from here. Need to get hmm? I sworn I heard the horse. There's your horse. But where's mine? Oy. This is my horse. This is my bow. Here we come. There you go. Shut up. Watchtower. Oh, I was able to copy the God Mode Rain and give one to Indigo. <laughs> so now he will not die, even though he's essential anyways. Precaution, precaution. Can't tell you how many times you lose Lydia because of that shit. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Over the mountain and through the woods to whatever this cavern is, we go. We discover this cave right quick. And I'm going this way. I want to get closer to that cave sooner or later. Here we go. Wee tree. Tree. Oh. Hey, Stuck. Stony Creek Cave discovered. Where's my whistle ability? That is so cool. I'm whistling for Indigo and he's responding back. Where is he?
Come on. Oop, tree. Oh. In I go. Something on your mind? No, nothing at the moment. Come on. Make me waste enough time as it is. Fast travel. Mm -hmm. That way we get both of our horses back. Did he just say I'm taking a bath? Really? This area. Give me my lightning arrows. Random Breton shit that scared me. <laughs> that <laughs> clip need to clip that Nick mm. so this is what just happened I'm in this cave and it's um has a water thing into it and I go to <sighs> check this body that's hanging off some limber or timber limber whatever and I turn back around, and it goes right there in my face, and I can see every detail whiskering and it scared the shit out of me. I'm like, what <laughs> the fuck? I'm like, don't do that. You wanna see how fast you get hit? Another Khajiit. They're dead too. Actually, give me this one. Your sword. I forgot about that. Give me my dagger. Good to do that. You are been the chief. You need to go away. Bye. For everyone! Give me the cheese. Wait, scratch that. Cheese for no one. <laughs> if anyone knows that reference, good for you. You're in my fa you're in my favorite book. Correct, Nick? <laughs> yep. A 
posted that the Facebook one time literally nobody understood it. Oh, that sucks. Means no one's cool like we are. How did you not see me? Or, or it just means nobody's as big a nerd as we are. Mm, that too. How did that guy not see me? I ran right under his feet. Dude's blinder than a bat. And a mouse rat. And a muskrat. Everything just rhymes with rat at this point. Going out. <clears throat> Let's see, blow out my candle. We shall travel. Oh. oh, where are my horses when I need it? Oh, there's the other horse. Traveling to Windhelm. Hopefully, I do not kill my horse in the meantime because I cannot see where the fuck I'm going. That's part of the reason. You call my new steed Beast. She may be pretty, but she has the heart of a lion. We are a good match. I love Indigo's um, many speaking lines. Having a follower that doesn't just stand there and look at you oddly and only talk to you when spoken to is freaking awesome. <laughs> Seriously. Serana will do that every now and again. She'll make comments here and there if you're in a certain place at the right time. Yeah. But, but having a follower like Indigo, uh, he will just say things out of nowhere relating to the most random shit like how he has... His horse that he's gonna name Beast. She may be a pretty horse, but she has a heart of a lion, according to him. He also has a little mini quest. Oh, hello, bear. Hello, bear. Hello, Wrecked. bear. Hello, bear. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Hit. <laughs> I'm just moseying along. <laughs> the fuck? Come here, you asshole. Die bear. I just did a joker movement. Slammed a knife into the bear's jaw. <laughs> that was not pretty. Another freaking bear? Why can't you I not surprised. look? Look here, asshole. Give me that. Dead bear. Very dead bear. Saber cat. Did not mean to hit my steed. Oh, for the love of.
Stay away from my horse. <laughs> yes, I do, actually. <laughs> Bitch, die. Fucking bear. A third one. Die. Damn animals. Onwards. As I hit my mic. We're not that far. Here's Kynes Grove. Oof, Kynes Grove. Glad I discovered it now. <laughs> La di da di da. I am running this way. Do 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 Running off towards nowhere. You watch where you're going. I ran into you for purpose. <laughs> Did that make any sense whatsoever? <laughs> No, I find it funny that I can sprint straight on into someone dead on and I make them look like one of those fold-out pop-ups. <laughs> <laughs> it's so funny. Oh, these people are annoying. Oh wait, I'm heading in the wrong direction. Whoops! I need to go this way! Whoop. Hi. Horses, all day long. Do you have any idea how dull it is? Probably as dull as you. Welcome to the Great Quarter. Whoops, that's a wall. It's no secret that Aretino boy is doing some ritual, trying to call the Dark Brotherhood. But who's going to stop him? Uh, talk to Eventus Aretino. And eventually adopt him. <laughs> I will adopt the Eventus Aretino. I swear they got that straight out of an Italian sitcom or something. Oh, my wrist. Kids, sign up. Take good care of your wrist, or else you get carpal tunnel. And assist. Growing on said carpal tunnel. He hates. All right, I'm traveling to Solstein. Wee, 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 wee. When? If you're looking for passage to Solstein, you won't find a fun. I'll give you a fair. If you ask me, I can't blame them. Think they still pay. Still interested in heading over there? Um, <clears throat> you've got yourself. Even the captain's afraid of Solstein. Let's see how different things are with me not actually activating the Dova King quest beforehand. I can't think of anything being that much different. What do you think, Nick? Nick! 
Hmm. Well, here we are. I'm going Welcome to Soul Sign range. without activating the Just um. Be careful here. The main Things quest line. Aren't what they used to be. No, it's not entirely stupid. Meh. I wonder how different it's gonna be. Cause you know how. How you were saying that you went up against Dernavir before doing so, and he didn't know that you were Dovahkiin? Yeah. Maybe it's something slightly like that. I am not talking to you. Go away, people. I have no interest in you. I'm going this way. Inigo. Inigo? Inigo. Okay. Too bad there are no horses in this area. But then again, it's a small island. Smallish. Mm. Wow. It has been a while since I've been to Solstheim. I have... The fuck? Who's talking? He said it couldn't be done. He said it, they said it, but they were wrong. Come on, where are you? In my dream showed me. There you are. It's working. What? Oh. You killed yourself, you stupid idiot. Journal of a madman. No shit. Wrong one. Up, 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 up. Here it is. Let's see, what does it say? They said it was impossible. And they, not me. I knew. The book knew. It knows all, and I know it all. All I need to know to fly. They left. The others were afraid. Don't even try, they said. They said it was impossible. They, not me. The book is filled with knowledge. The book fills me. With knowledge, secret hidden knowledge, my knowledge, I must hide the knowledge, hide it, keep away, I will eat the book a page at a time, slowly. Ew. How much you want to bet he... Oh my god, this... That's not creepy! You know that... Okay, so the Rune's Edge from the Creation Labs has a moving animated eye looking straight at you. I feel like I'm looking at the eye of Sauron for some fucking reason. That is creepy. Let's see how well this works against people. You're not nearly as powerful as where I need you to be. Give me my ice.
Ooh, heartstone deposits. Ooh, I gotta keep that in mind for future ripens. Ow. Hold that thought. Da, 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 da. Nick, you're not talking too much. No. You tired? Kinda. Hmm. Probably should be getting to sleep here soon. I do have work tomorrow. Ew, hiss. Hiss. Oops, I'm on the wrong fucking thing. I have the next two days off. Yay! And I... Strengthen... <clears throat> what is it? I need a Daedra heart. That actually explained a lot. Near near la 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 Oh no, wait, that goes under ingredients, doesn't it? Yes it does. Down Wee Yep, take your car. Cheese for everyone. Nope, scratch that. Cheese for no one. Some point or another, I gotta make an effort to go on Oblivion and play that one. Dude, it's funny. You know where it came from, but only because of me. Yeah. I have these weird random weapons. Uh, um, um. This time, that's swing. So, I'm gonna try something. You do that. Give me that back. Give me that back. I wanna see... Okay, so I can't disenchant the bow. That flippin' sucks. Um... Some extra fire damage. Nope. Mm -mm. Fail. I did an oopsie, I did an oopsie. Meow. Cause I might as well. thinking you are very kind. Thank you for giving me my own steed. I am grateful. I hope this will be a mutually beneficial exchange. You can have those. You can have that. You can have that. 
And you can have one of these. Okay, let us get back to it. And he's still carrying Mr. Dragonfly. That's so cool. Okay. Um, 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 um. Give me that. Off I go. Oh shit. Hello. Damn, bugs. I forgot all about the ash hoppers. Hi. I didn't know this thing was here. Give me those. Ooh, mine, 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 mine. Where'd the other one go? Damn, I shot him in the same spot twice. Go. Oh my god. Okay. Okay. I really don't want to be going through all that just to find shit, so... Excuse me... For a moment... Uh... Back at!
Hopefully I have enough now. Call me cheater, whatever you want, but... What the hell? You won't open. I am fairly confused. confused I have never done this so I have no idea what it is I'm supposed to do it would help if I could see what the fuck I am doing where did that guy go this is so weird Very, very weird. So... I don't know what I'm doing wrong. I have all of these in my pocket. I am fairly confused on what it is I am doing wrong. I'm probably doing a lot of shit wrong.
Why not do this? God damn it. Ah. Let me give you some room. This is going to be a very annoying quest. It would be nice on how pay off my bounty this time. Walk to the city of three bottle of mead. Not fair that they always take the good stuff. Was that book not there before? Ah! God bless it, America. Nope, I am not waiting. Save. Be good and save. Alright, Tori, I must sign off for the night. Uh, okay. I'll talk to you later. Talk to you later. Goodbye, YouTube. <laughs> later. Later. I'm an idiot. Okay.
Do 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 do. No, not that one. Not that one either. I am glad to be by your side. I think I just messed up.
Uh, here is a good question. Is this thing going to attack me? Holy cow! Well, I attacked it for no damn reason. Give me this. I really don't have the time, nor the patience, to go through all that sheet of finding the damn things. So, we're just gonna do this number. Dwarven. Down. Where are you firing at? Fine then. So I'm going to save. I'm going to do that. Yay!
<sighs> Multitude of followers. So, basically, somewhat of an X. Run all the way back this way. Damn, this thing even changes. Okay, good. They're both good. One in a two and a one in a two and a one in a two and a one in a two. Uh, the door I need to go through is this way. We. We. Okay. Save. Don't be a dumbass. Okay. This way. However, there is something I need to grab before moving on. La 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 la. Yeah. All this. Whoops. Didn't mean to grab that, but okay. Actually, I might need those later on. Anything else? Anything else? Anything else? Anything? Anything? No, no, no. What's in here? Mine. 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 Whee! What's up here? I see. This is where they are entertained. Indigo. Wow, really? Down we go. I win, I win, I win. Now that I think about it. And off we go.
Yes, my friend. The first time I came into a place like this, I could hardly walk out. I was carrying so much loot. Mm -hmm. I'm wondering if machines think about anything. If we find one with ears and a voice, I will ask it. Passage to Solstein. I'm off work at the Blackfriar Meadery. Be back there in the morning. So, uh, something that I'm going to do right quick. 
I'm going to go in here. And I'm pretty sure most of you are going to know what I'm going to do. La 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 la. Wow. I have plenty of all of these things except you. Oops. That's fine. And so, with today's adventures, with today's adventures I thwarted, I oops, I didn't mean to grab the blast damn basket. I have a centurion sphere. Centurion spider, and now I and also I have indigo. And these are much larger than I gave them credit for. Now that I am not attacking them and trying to kill them, uh, next time we come back, we will have Serana, and we might actually start the mine to get. You could say that, but that was awesome. Actually, now that I think about it. We gonna jump over you. In you go. I am here for you. What would you have me do? I will aid you if I can. You're the boss. Sit. Sit and talk with me. What is on your mind? Yes. I have never been very good, though. I enjoy writing songs, but sometimes it is more fun just making up words as I go along. The improvisation keeps the mind sharp and boredom at bay. Maybe, but nothing too serious. I would rather save my proper songs for the Bard's College. For now, anyway. Well, I know it is silly, but my songs are special to me. I would rather perform them in a special place. However, if you just want me to improvise something while we are traveling, maybe I can help you out. We will see. This is a lovely home you have here. The build is good quality, and it smells woody. It is quite a story. Are you sitting comfortably? It happened about a week after the Japan job and my betrayal. Yes, sorry again, by the way. After the Dupan deal went sour, I managed to score a little skooma on the road. I used it and sat up all night staring at the stars. I decided I would end my life the next day. After what I did to Felix and you, I thought it best for everybody if I just went away. You are very nice to say such things. I am glad too. I watched the sun come up, then made a noose. My camp was high near the edge of a cliff. I fastened the noose to an overhanging tree branch. I used the last of my skooma, placed the rope around my neck, and jumped off. I will tell you, don't be so impatient. A good story often needs to take its time. I remember falling, the twanging noise as the rope went taut, a brief moment of pain, a snapping noise, I thought it was my neck, 
Then I was falling again. The cliffs rushed past me. I thought, well, the rope didn't work, but the ground will do the trick. A wide ledge hurried up to meet me. I closed my eyes just before the impact. There was a smashing noise. Then I was underwater. I was suddenly underwater. What is so hard to understand? Try to pay attention. I had fallen through a thin layer of rock into a cave. I thought, well, the ground didn't kill me, but drowning should end my sorry life. The gods had other plans, though. A current dragged me to the surface, coughing and spluttering. That's when I heard them. I heard clucking. I was in a river being swept through a large cavern. It was dark, but I could make out many cages on the bank. Chickens strutted about outside the cages. I could smell magic. I gathered my strength and hauled myself out of the water. Inside the cages, people were bound and gagged. Ignoring the chickens, I rushed over and tried to open the first cage I came to. It was locked tight. Suddenly, I felt a pain in my foot. A chicken was pecking at me. I kicked it away, but it came back with reinforcements. I was in a flapping, pecking nightmare. I tried to get back in the water, but before I had gone a few steps, I was knocked unconscious. I awoke tied to a chair. There was a foul-smelling man studying me. I could hear the river nearby, but now I was in a crypt of some sort. Chickens and rabbits watched me from behind the smelly man. He said he was going to make me useful. I did not like the sound of that. My options were limited. I had no weapons, but I did have a little time. This fellow liked to talk. I unsheathed my claws and went to work on the ropes that held me to the chair. The man seemed to have a bit to say, so I let him talk. He said he was a powerful wizard and that he had learned how to transform people into animals. Once transformed, he said I would want nothing but to aid him. He said he had a spy network of chickens and rabbits all over Skyrim. Yes, that is what I thought. I asked why only chickens and rabbits. He replied that once I was a chicken, no one would ever take notice of me again. A bear or a mammoth would be too conspicuous. Smaller animals make the best spies. I told him if he turned me into a chicken, I'd peck his eyes out. He told me that the change was not only physical. I would want to do his bidding, nothing else. He said he was using the information his spy network gathered to cause hate across the land. He fed on hate. It made him stronger. I had spied a wooden door in one wall that smelled rotten. As soon as I felt the rope around me give a little, I jumped at the door. It burst open as I hit it, and the chair broke apart. I was free. The wizard screamed in anger and loosed a spell in my direction. I dodged his attack and ran down a long stone tunnel. I heard the smelly wizard begin to laugh. There is only death that way, he yelled. Good, I replied. I've been seeking that all day. I ran for what seemed like forever. Eventually, I came to a vast chamber with a spindly spiral staircase leading up in the center. The floor was littered with dried out bodies. They had been dead for hundreds of years, but as it turned out, they were still quite feisty. 
As I made for the staircase, the dead started to groan and move. I jumped over them and began to climb the steps. There were too many Draugr to fight, so I concentrated on climbing. Halfway up, I spotted an opening in the ceiling. The air was fresher up there. That is when I uncharacteristically tripped. I tumbled back down the stairs. Soon, the dead reached me. They clawed at me. They held me down. Dry, cracked fingers tore my face to ribbons, giving me these scars. I almost gave up, and then something amazing happened. I realized I wanted to live. I realized that my life was still worth something. I realized that I could be the person my brother knew again. This realization gave me a strength I never knew I had. I fought back, shouting, no, again and again. No, you will not have my life. No, this is not where I die. No. I struggled to my feet, fighting all the while. I snapped necks. I broke arms. I gouged out eyes. Somehow, I made it back to the staircase. Yes, it was pretty amazing. If I had not spent all that morning almost dying, I wonder if I'd be here talking to you now. Anyway, I reached the top of the stairs, forced open the hatch above, and stepped out into daylight. I was only a few hundred feet from my camp. I stared at the tree with the snapped rope hanging from it for a long time. I knew I owed much, and swore that I would repay any debt I could. When I realized you had survived, I decided that if anyone was going to take my life, it should be you. You know the rest. That is how I got these scars. It is a good tale, yes? Yes, it is. Living it made me the man you see before you. Scars and all. I am honored you want my opinion. Okay. I will list some of your attributes. Here we go. You smell good. You are very rich. Um, you have never done time in a cell, unlike me. You are not exactly well-traveled. Not yet, anyway. You own your own home. That is a big positive in my book. Eh, uh, let me think. You are the greatest destruction mage I have ever seen. Accidents can still happen though, so be careful. The state of your mind may be up for debate, but your body is healthy. Charismatic does not sum you up. You could talk a dragon into setting itself on fire. Maybe try that next time. You are strong, free, and single. You slice, you dice, you amputate, you decapitate. You are the ultimate authority on one-handed killing. In life, you tend to go your own way. You do not follow the herd. You have great fashion sense. Uh, let's see. You are astounding with two-handed weapons. I bet you could chop a cow in half with one blow if you wanted to. You are not into politics. Uh, what else? You are the sneakiest sneak who ever snuck. You may know how to open a book, but so far you have failed to learn very much from the writing inside. You like to haul around random useless items for some reason. You are a better marksman than me. There, I said it. Happy? Seriously though, well done. Now, how do I conclude? You are, without a doubt, the most impressive individual I have ever known. I am more proud of you than words can say, my friend. I say it as I see it. Let me know if you want another progress report. It is fun judging people. 
Okay, but remember I am not a professional writer. I hope you like it. Inigo the Brave, a tale suitable for any gender and race, at any time. One day, Inigo was walking through his spider farm, minding his own business, when he smelt something was wrong. His nose was the best in the land, so he followed it to a nearby cave, where he found a beautiful woman of unspecified race crying. What's wrong, said Inigo. A smelly troll stole my sister, said the radiant woman. Can you help me? Inigo looked. Thank you, wept. He soon came to a fork in the tunnel. A little stream ran to the left, and a patch of glowing moss illuminated the way to the right. Left or right. The stream was cold, but Inigo was hardy, and he liked the splashing noises his feet made. He soon found a dead man clutching a note. What do we do? Inigo bravely reached for the note, but as his hand closed around it, the man came alive. He was a zombie. Think fast. Inigo bravely stabbed the zombie with an arrow and pierced its brain by way of its eye. It shuddered and died. Inigo read the note. I love you. Meet me in the cave at midnight, said the note. It was a woman's writing. Inigo looked up and saw a troll close by. Inigo let out a barbaric yawp and ran at the troll. The troll looked up from his meal, wet himself, then ran away screaming like a little girl. It had been eating a local farmer by a slimy hole in the ground. The farmer was not anyone's sister, so Inigo pressed on. The tunnel grew darker, and Inigo heard himself crunching over dry bones. He smelt blood on the air. Soon he was standing high above a dark cavern. He could hear ugly movement below, and he saw sharp stalactites hanging from the cavern roof. What's the plan? Inigo's arrows hit the stalactites and they crashed to the cave floor below. He heard trolls being squashed and he smiled to himself. When all was quiet, he jumped down among the smelly bodies and had a look about. He heard a woman weeping nearby. What do we do? The woman was crumpled and bleeding. She smelled very ugly. My sister sent you, didn't she? She gasped. Now die! The troll hag suddenly slashed out at Inigo with a glass dagger. What are we going to do? Inigo grabbed the hag's hand, but she was supernaturally fast, and the dagger sliced poor Inigo's arm clean off. He stumbled back. He tried to draw his bow, but he was a hand short, and it fell uselessly to the ground. The woman fell on him, slashing and stabbing. The last thing he heard was the troll hag's manic laughter. We died a bad death. Let's try to keep all our limbs next time. Okay, if you want to hear it again, just let me know. Watch you keep the fire low. It would be a shame if all this went up in smoke. Of course, what do you want to know? I was bullied by the other Khajiit children because of my unusual color and markings. My mother showed me a handy trick with a rock and a glove. I was never bothered again.
Yes, bullies should not be tolerated. They soon learned that being different is not a weakness. Alright ladies and gents, I am going to end this here. And we will continue on with this tomorrow. Later y'all.